Hey everyone, welcome to another tutorial and today I will teach you how you can create a custom domain email address like hello at the rate my website dot com and connect it to your Gmail inbox so that anytime anyone sends you an email at your custom domain email address it will straight go to your Gmail inbox and if you want to send anyone an email from your custom domain email address like for if you have a business or if you have a sh online shop you would want to send your customers or clients email from a professional email like contact at the rate mywebsite.com so you can also do that from your gmail inbox and this setup is completely free and most likely it will take you just 10 minutes to set it up and it is very easy so i will show you how to do it step by step so let's start okay so the first thing you have to do is log into your cpanel and if you cannot find log into your cpanel what you have to do is just type your domain name like example.com slash cpanel and press enter and you will be able to see the login screen of your cpanel here enter your credentials and depending on your cPanel security settings you might see this uh, second authentication factor security code prompt so depending on it completely depends on your security settings and then after logging into your cPanel scroll down and look for this email tab and if uh, your cPanel dashboard looks a bit different than me, it is because your CPan hosting company is using a different theme for cPanel. So, and it is very easy to change the theme. What you have to do is just scroll down and look for this option, change style. So, and just click on it. And usually the old theme, some hosting providers use the retro theme. This was the old cPanel theme so if you just click if I just click on apply and as you can see the cPanel will look like this so if your cPanel look like this you can find the email option here email accounts and what you have to do is just click on email accounts and from here you will have to click on create and select the domain name for which you want to create your custom email and here select the username for example I will select contact contact at the rate your domain dot com and then here enter your password for your email you can use the generate option and it is very important to call keep this password in a safe place so I'll just keep it in a notepad and after this what you have to do is select the storage space so I will suggest you to select unlimited and then just keep this option on default and then click on create and also take this box stay on this page after I click create and then click on create okay so you can you will see this mess success message you created contact at the rate um, mybbsecurity.net so now after this just um, scroll down and click on go back and from here you will see the new email address you have created and then you will see this option check email go here and you will see the similar screen just click on open and then you will see a welcome email like this double click to open it and here you will see the mail clients manual settings now to connect this to a custom domain email address to your gmail inbox box inbox what you have to do is we will need those details so now let's head over to your gmail inbox and from here 
just click on this settings gear icon and then click on settings and here go to the accounts and import tab and from here you will see this option send mail as check email from other accounts so what you have to do is first go to here see in this option check email from other accounts click on add an email account and here enter the new email address we just created so I'll just do that and then click on next click on next and here um, this is the username and from this uh, details we can see the username of this so just copy paste this details and and you can see the outgoing incoming server and outgoing server domain is just simply domain so depending on your server settings um, this will be different for you but so I will just select this and copy this from here and paste it here and then make sure that there are no spaces extra spaces and as you can see we um, the port setting is 995 okay for POP3 and make sure that you select the correct port for POP3 and not IMAP because Gmail uses POP3 to fetch emails from your server okay so now just uh, take this options leave a copy this will after fetching email from your server this will also leave a copy on your server so if you want to leave a copy it's completely up to you but I like to use it like this so and always use a secure connection and if you want you can label your incoming messages so it completely depends on you I will select it and then click on add account okay I'm sorry I think okay I have entered the wrong password and so I'll again enter the correct username copy paste it and this was the password I selected when creating the account in cPanel so again let's try adding this and you can you, you can see your mail account has been added so then gmail will show you this option just keep it tick yes i want to be able to send mail as your custom domain email address and then click on next and then select your name for example um, whatever your service name is you can uh, type that here and for example I will just type here contact um, support support team and then just uh, make sure that you take this option treat as an alias and then click on next and uh, if you remember this the uh, we this is our username just copy and paste it exactly and then enter your password and then click on add account okay and also change this port and this is the port uh, for which 465 so it will depend on your server settings so just make sure that you check use the correct port settings and then gmail will send you a verification email so for this what you have to do is go to gmail settings and we have already added this so let's go to 
email and this is the gmail verification email open it and then just copy the confirmation code from here and enter your confirmation code here and click on verify and then go to gmail setting page again and you will see uh, earlier it was showing here not verified now it is showing verified okay and so we have added our custom email domain email address to gmail so now let's try sending an email from here and let's you will see all the from when you will compose any new email you will see all the available email addresses from which you can send email so i will select uh, just we created this email support team so let's um okay let's try if it's working or not then click on send and and as you can see this is the hello message i just sent to myself i have sent it to my gmail address here you can see from support team to best guides at the rate gmail.com and it is working and okay now if i try to send it from my best of rupee guides my gmail address to the support custom domain email address we created let's try that okay let's view this and this is in the send folder and then let's see in the inbox you can see the this has been sent to this email address from best of loopy guides at the rate gmail.com to contact at the rate my security.net now there will be also a copy of this on your cpanel server web mail server you can just go to inbox and see there's uh this is the best of uh, the uh, email from the gmail address we just sent so it's also available in the gmail inbox and also in your cpanel web mail server so if you have any questions please post in the comments and i will try to help you hey i hope you found the tutorial useful and while this method works for most people who do not require to send a lot of emails but if you have an online shop like e-commerce shop or uh, you want to make sure that all your emails land in your customers inbox and not go to their spam folder i would suggest you to go for a paid solution and it will not cost you much the paid solutions start from $5 a month, so it is not a lot to make sure that all your emails go straight to your customer's inbox and not to their spam email box. So if you want to learn that, about that, please click on the video visible on the screen.